And as you know, Family Resource Center on Disability provides training, assistance, and referrals to parents of children with disabilities, to all disabilities for that matter. But today we're going to focus on autism. And to help us understand autism and autism spectrum, we have Mary Kay Best, Executive Director of Autism Society of Illinois. Hi, Mary Kay. Hi. Thank you for being on the show today. Thank you for having me. Okay, so could you start by kind of explaining uh how the Autism Society of Illinois works? Well, the Autism Society of Illinois is the oldest grassroots organization, autism organization in the state of Illinois. And we are the statewide chapter um, of the Autism Society of America, which is our national headquarters. Um, we are one of the top 10 chapters in the, in the country um, out of 107 chapters that we have. Um, we've been in Lombard for over 30, 37 years and we go throughout the whole state. Um, we help families um, per, we help families find solutions to their to their problems in, in real time. So we're not looking we're not a, a research agency. We're not um, looking for a cure or anything like that. We help families when they need when they need support, help help with special education. We provide outreach events for our families so we make sure that they're not sitting in their houses by themselves. We get right. them out. Um, we help with special education advocacy, first responder training, just to name a few. And our biggest is our information and referral program. Thanks, Mary. Well, could you um, also explain to uh, people who don't understand autism exactly what autism is? Autism um, currently was just the um, diagnosis was just changed from a umbrella disorder, um, a spec a broad spectrum of disorders, and it just currently changed in the DSM five criteria. So before May we had Asperger's, which is now considered a social communication disorder, but people that have Asperger's are still calling it Asperger's, which is fine. Um, we had PDD NOS, which was pervasive developmental disorder, not otherwise specified. We had autism, and then we had Rett's syndrome, and then children's degenerative disorder. Um, so what they did is they they brought they streamlined that diagnosis, so everything now falls under autism, and they took Rett's and the other disorder out completely out of the DSM under that under that umbrella. So it's no longer considered an umbrella disorder. So autism can be anything from your child not being able to speak, um, having sensory issues. Um, your child could sp be able to see, speak and still have anxiety. There, there's a lot of different modalities with, um, with children and individuals with autism. So when you meet one person with autism, you've only, you've met one person with autism. Yeah, that was a point I did want to bring up. Uh, you know, why is autism falling? You know, why are there's why are they kind of spread out as Asperger's, uh, the various different names? Why isn't it like you know, uh, for example, Down syndrome, where everybody falls under? Uh, well, that's what they did now yeah. with the new DSM five right. criteria. They brought it just all under one one diagnosis. So um, before with Asperger's, you could have, you, you would never have lost language. Um, with children with autism, if you've lost language between 18 and three years old or never obtained language, that would be one factor that they would look at to see if you met the criteria for autism. Asperger's is usually diagnosed later on um, by eight or nine, 10 years old, um, usually looking like ADHD. Um, in the earlier years, and then we find out that they have, you know, social communication disorders mm, right. where they can't, they they don't get the joke. Um, they they're very very linear, black and white um, thinkers. Um, very it it's very much um, about what 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 their interests their interests are, um, but very great individuals. All, All individuals right. with autism have wonderful gifts that they give on an every single day basis whether they can speak or they can't or they can't we have tons of wonderful resources that we can use to get these children and individuals to lead productive and um, productive lives in the community <music> 